If you've chosen to purchase the flip down panel kit for the CRS21, uh, the kit will include obviously the panel pocket, five fight light malice clips, two Duraflex buckles, another ID placard, and either a level 3A or a level 3 uh, rifle rated uh, armor panel to go in it. For assembly, your first step is to take these five fight light malice clips and we're going to slide them through the bottom portion of this pocket where you see we have the molly webbing. We're going to open this buckle up and you want to make sure that the buckle side is facing upwards like you see all these other ones. If it's in reverse it's incorrect. We want to make sure that this clip or this buckle is facing up. We're going to slide it through the top molly all the way out through the bottom. We're going to continue that for each of the five malice clips. You're going to take your CRS-21 shield cover, remove your armor panel from inside the cover. It's a lot easy to work through the molly when you don't have the armor in there. And you're going to place your pocket on top of the shield, lining it up with this four inch strip of molly. So we've got it lined up perfectly. We're going to start working from one side to the other, weaving in each one of these malice clips, starting with this first molly loop here. Working way to the next. Once that's complete, now we're going to get into the middle molly on working our way back down the panel. Once we've got that middle piece done, we're going to work our way through the bottom piece. This is why it's good to take the armor out so we can bend and flex the material to get better access to these loops. Then we're going to insert this end into this tag right here. We're going to clip it into place to lock it in. You'll hear it click. Okay, that is our flip panel pocket. It's now mounted to our CRS-21. Now we need to insert our Duraflex buckle systems here at the top of the shield. The landmark that you're looking for is in this third row right here, this very first piece of molly right here on the corner. Okay, so we've got one, two, and all of a sudden we have our first offset. That is our target to place these clips. Again, clip, same thing on the opposite side. Again, here's our first row, our second row, then our third row has an offset. That's the target we're looking for here. We're going to close our pocket, insert our buckles, make our slide adjustment with the excess, this excess webbing here, unbuckle, we're going to apply our patch which goes right over the top here. Now we open up, and what's very important to note, at the top of the shield, 
this is the Velcro opening for the flip panel pocket. This is where the armor is going to go in right here. And whether it's a level three rifle rated or, or a 3A, you want to make sure that this tag that says this side towards the user is facing the user when the shield is in the open position. That way the hardened front portion of the shield is facing out where it's supposed to take that round first, not the soft backside. So make sure when you insert this, your shield is open and we're gonna put it with the label, again, down towards the end user if you were carrying the shield. Put that pocket inside. Now the strike face is forward towards the threat and the label is down towards the, the end user. We're gonna close this pocket up. Now it's time to insert our rifle rated panel. Same thing, front of the shield always faces the threat. The label faces towards the end user. Plus the shield is curved, so it's not too difficult to figure that out when you insert it. Close our zipper all the way. Now we can fold up our flip panel, insert our buckles. I'm gonna raise the shield up. And now we here have our standard CRS 21 inch shield with our optional flip panel extension kit that drops it down with a two inch overlap of armor coverage and makes it approximately 30 inches in total length. That's a wrap.